connected. Good evening, it wasn't the world. Oh man, that thing's about to fall over. I mean, about to fall over. <laughs> it sunk down in the mud. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's on the tipping point of, of falling over. It's sunk in. That's why it's a good thing I got that foot ordered. At least it ain't on the ground. That's a pain trying to park this thing. If you got any place to, uh, without solid ground, <laughs> and that stock foot. Yeah, look at the hole it made in the ground. But, uh, anyway, back it up here. I had, uh, we're going to do it again. I had a, uh, my DR650, and this thing, it was sitting on asphalt, and it was real hot in the summer, and uh, the kickstand sunk in the asphalt, and the bike fell over. I would never have thought that, but it'd get hot enough, and that asphalt gets soft, they'd definitely fall over. Well, I did order a Alt-Rider uh, side stand foot. It makes it wider, bigger, so this will stop. So, anyway, I'm going to go for a little ride. Oh, I'll save this. That's what I'll do. I'll save this video to show with the uh, side stand, uh, the foot widener, whenever I get it. So, anyway. That's crazy. At least it wasn't all the way on the ground. Good evening, guys. Today I'm going to be installing the Alt Rider side stand enlarger for the Honda Africa Twin. Uh, this thing is uh, brushed, eighth inch stainless steel. They also offer it in a black powder coated if you prefer black, because the kickstand is black. I just opted for the stainless. I like the stainless, and and the thing I like about the stainless is too, as if it gets rock dings and stuff, it won't show like it might on the powder coating. Uh, it will just won't show on this is just the raw stainless brushed really looks good it comes with the stainless steel bolts the only thing you're going to need to install it is this uh, MT or uh, sorry a T25 Torx tool and uh, it actually has two of these M5 12 bolts right here and here I've laid them out and actually in place where they go because they are different length bolts so you want to get them in the right spot so we have two of the M5 by 12s right here. Then we have a M5 by 10 right here, it goes in this location. And then we have a M5 by 16 that goes right here in this rear location. So uh, it comes with really good instructions. It's just so simple to install that anybody can install it. It's uh, very good quality made. This thing is gonna last. It's going to stop what you've seen in the video just I showed before this where my bike was about to fall over and I've actually had bikes to fall over several times by sinking in the mud and as I said they'll also even in hot asphalt in the summer with it sitting on that side stand the hot asphalt gets hot and soft and they'll fall over in the asphalt so this will be awesome to have to stop that from happening and uh, as you can tell as of everything as everything alt rider is made it's done really nicely. They do a super good job. And, uh, you know, it takes time to make something quality. It's kind of like my crash bars. Still waiting for them to come in. They should be coming in any time. But, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to wait for something first class. And I know when All Rider does it, it will be. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. And uh, get started. Okay, as you can see, I've got everything laid out here so I don't uh, get the screws in the right in the wrong place. I've got them laid out in the position where they go and uh, if you'll notice on the back of this it has a stop that is for the back of the stand so it don't slide off it hits right there so you want to mount it with it slid right there up against that stop. So first thing I want to do is put some thread locker on each one of my bolts just a little bit
Put my foot up there. These uh, holes on this bottom plate already come pre-threaded. No need to have nuts on the bottom of it. You wouldn't want nuts on the bottom of it. When you first put them in, just put them in loosely and then you can snug them up evenly after you get all of them in. And just be certain that they thread in straight and not cross-threaded. Tighten them down good and tight. And that's it. So this thing installs really good, fits fits well. Um, it is made lightweight, which is nice because you don't want the weight of the of something heavy on here and your bike is bouncing on back roads, dirt roads. Uh, the weight of it make your kickstand go down, so it's nice that this is real lightweight. It also has this part right here that you can catch your foot on to put the kickstand down or up so that'll be pretty handy really nice touch keep this thing from sinking in the dirt and even sand actually it'd help a lot in sand but uh, that's it thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures please click the thumbs up subscribe I'll put the link to All Rider in the description below where you can check these out remember they do have these in black also and I'll catch y'all in the next video.